Hey everyone, uh, Jeff Tucker here again live from uh, the state of Washington um, where it's still raining and it's still overcast and it's just like, you know, I guess this is normal for the Northwest. Anyway, um, two great things happened today. Again, so much a relief from some of these horses. One horse is in so much pain uh, to take it away. I know these horses are going to go great tomorrow. I'm going to get great feedback on them tomorrow. Um, uh, the other thing was a guy called me, or pardon me, this gal called me to tell me that I told her about feeding more protein to her horse. And it was really cool because um, uh, the, um, let's see, uh, the horse was on death's doorstep and uh, I'm getting all these texts in the middle of this thing, sorry about that. Um, the horse is on death's doorstep, uh, backbone was exposed, uh, lethargic, all sorts of stuff. And I told her about adding protein to the horse and she said it took about a month and this horse's backbone has come along, you know, the top line's come along, the horse has life, is now running around the paddock, whereas before it was on death's doorstep. This is the second positive experience in an older horse that is undernourished that got some protein and made a huge difference. If you haven't heard about protein, go to the horsesadvocate.com and sign up and go to the No Grain Challenge and scroll down and look for protein. I've got to get a link called the, uh, the horsesadvocate.com forward slash protein. i got to get that up tonight. I think I'll do that. But um, uh, that was such good news. It's so uplifting to hear some people who are getting such positive results from adding protein to the horse's diet. But anyway, again, a great time up here. I'm going to be back in the Northwest uh, to stay to Washington in January. There's more work to be done here. Uh, so uh, with that, I'm going to leave you. Look how dark it is. It's not even 5 p.m. here. It's just... It's just, it's crazy. I'm just used to green and sunshine. Um, but I'm going to be back because I love the people here. I love the horses. It's such a great place to be uh, for horses. So um, that's all I got to say. Talk to you later. Bye.